Well, love is in the air all over the place this weekend. Sunday, to be exact. Oh, yeah, I see you're already dressed for it. I am. <laughs> and Sunday vest up. <laughs> <laughs> and we're still more than a month away from Valentine's Day. Here's Danny New to explain why. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. This weekend, Tinder says make your own match on Dating Sunday. Let's do According to a press release by the dating app, the first Sunday in January is their busiest day of the year. In fact, they say last year's Dating Sunday saw 22% more messages sent and 18% more likes registered compared to the rest of the year. This is a time of year where people are craving connection. So if you hear Dating Sunday and think, I'm listening. I spoke with counselor and marriage therapist Amy Wine on the feedback she's received from her many clients on these apps. Do you have clients in like their 40s, 50s, and 60s who have tried the dating apps? Oh, yes, for sure. First off, yes, of course, it's not just college students anymore when you think dating apps. And Amy says folks who have been around the block have a much different level of patience. They're just going to be themselves because they don't have time to waste. I'm just going to be real. Take it or leave it. I gotta be me. I gotta be me. But it's not like that isn't a good lesson for everybody, especially when it comes to making the most grueling choice, designing your profile. Show up who you are, your quirkiness, your funny, tell a joke <laughs> in your dating profile. However, there's the other side to this convenience, right? That yes, dating apps may make it easier to meet a lot of people in a short time, but that's kind of overwhelming. I think now on a lot of the apps, you can put filters like your interests, values, life goals, put those in there. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. And if one match doesn't work out, that's okay. Maybe they had to move on so you could find the right one and not giving up. And for the record, I met my wife, Tina, on a dating app, and I'm pretty weird. So there's hope for everyone. You can do it. In New York for ABC News, I'm Danny New. You know, funny enough, I'm actually looking up on my iPad. Just oh, on Tinder? Dating no, no, oh, no, oh, no, okay. no. Sorry, Faith. No, not No, yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm, I have a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Happily taken. But uh, you were saying. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to look up just anything about this. I haven't really got You're a chance to read yet. You're planning your dating Sunday. I'm, tr I'm planning my show on Sunday now. with the. <laughs> Don't forget your Stanley Cup tumbler as ah, well. <laughs> look at that. All the Valentine's you Day know, stories. Will but you can't get through. Morgans. That's no. hard. <laughs> She's already got one. She doesn't have the Valentine's Day, uh, Valentine's Day <laughs> colors, though. So it's, oh, uh, goodness. All right.